we want to make this a little more lo-fi. We want to we want to grab this sound and we just want to like rub it in the dirt a little bit. We can do that using the tape cassette too. So to access this, we go to our mixer icon. We go plugins and EQ. We hit the edit button and in any of these empty slots, we hit the plus. We can come over here to audio unit extensions. Now tape cassette two is a free plugin. You can download it from the app store. There's a link down in the description of this video or just go to the app store and search tape cassette two. Now our friends at, uh, at Kalem Audio, they created tape cassette, which was really cool, but it looked ugly. It had a really crappy looking interface. And I'll say that with love because it still worked amazingly, but the interface looked a wee bit shite as uh, our friend Patrick would say. But tape cassette two looks like this. Look at those delicious VU meters. Like anything that has some old analog VU meters is already a winner for me. Uh, but here's the thing. We can dial in all of these settings or we can use us some presets. So let's show some preset love here first because that's where I like to start. So we'll just play this synth as it is. So out of the box, you can hear it's given it a little bit of warmth, that little bit of saturated warmth that we get from a tape sound. And by the way, how weird is it? Hands up those that used to use a four track recorder or record on tape. Yeah, how much time did we spend trying to get rid of hiss, warble, wow, flutter? Now we wanna try and add it back in. Go figure, that's the technology of the future. Uh, so we can come in here. You can see here we've got a bunch of different uh, presets that we can scroll through and take a look at. So why don't we go, I know lo-fi is what a lot of people like. Oh, I pressed the wrong one. We'll go to lo-fi. Hang on. The interface is still lightly clunky here when I'm using it with the mouse. There we go. Oh, it scrolled through. Lo-fi. All right. So you can see this dials in the saturation. We've got the low pass filter on there. We've got noise, wow, flutter, and our output meter. We've got auto gain on here. And we've got this IR, which is the impulse response from like, a, I think it's a type one cassette that that uses. So if we play this now with this synth sound with this setting, it sounds like this. So can you hear that? It's just giving it that slightly different sound. If we turn it off, let's do a bit of A-B comparison. So this is with it off. Turn it on. We're getting that saturation for that warmth. We're getting that little bit of tape noise and hiss in there, that little tiny bit of wow and flutter in there. If we bring this back in with the rest of our sounds. Right, yeah. And uh, as Tom Rochelle says here, uh, love tape cassette too for adding that analog warmth to things. Yeah, that's a really cool thing because uh, let's show you another another use for this. If you didn't want a full lo-fi sound, what we can do, say we come back to this beat here. Hang on, let's just uh, turn that off. You can hear that it adds that kind of hiss sound to, <laughs> to the playback when you've got tape cassette on. We'll turn it back on in a minute. But uh, yeah, if we come back to this one and we add it onto this beat, so we'll do boom and we'll go boom and then we'll come on down to tape cassette two. Do, 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 do. And again, free, free plugin. So go download it now because why not play around with it? So yeah, if, as Tom Rochelle was saying, even if you didn't want to use anything else, so let's turn off the noise, turn off the wow, turn off the flutter. We don't want any of that. We could just use the low pass filter on here and use the saturation knob, we can just dial in some warmth. So if we play this back now. Actually, let's uh, let's solo that one out to make it a little easier. We solo that one out, we come back in here and we hit play. So there it is with no saturation. Take a listen to this. So you can obviously go nuts with it. But there you go, how much warmer is that sound just using the saturation dial? Again, let's do some AB. So we'll turn it off, it sounds like this. Really bright and clicky, we turn it on. Like it really just softens it and dirties it up. Now you may not want that sound, in fact I don't want that much of that sound, so I'll just dial back the saturation to around about there. And then we'll bring that back. We'll add it back in on our synth. And then we'll bring these back in and hit play. So there you go. That has just, um, and I don't know why, 
I'm still getting that. I'm still getting the history when it's not actually playing back, which is a bit weird because I'm not monitor. Oh, hang on. No, I'm not. Not even when I'm not monitoring the sound, it's still there. That's a bit weird. That's unexpected. But anyway. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, there you go. That's the tape cassette to plug in from uh, Kalem. Very, very cool. Definitely worth checking out. And you can add it, as, us, as you saw there, as an AUV3 audio unit plug into any of your tracks and get yourself some saturation. Oh, you know what I didn't show you? I better show you the actual wow and flutter because this is kind of cool. So if we come back in here, uh, if we just uh, turn this down, turn the noise down because we don't want too much of that noise. So if you're not familiar with what wow and flutter are, we'll just solo this one here. Turn it on, come back in. So your wow and flutter is, your wow sound is this sort of sound. So that's that, that's that wow that you used to get from a, from a cassette and your flutter is a bit of this action. So again, that's, that's using them to an extreme level. But if we just want a little bit of both of those, you can actually get yourself uh, an interesting tone and uh, sound dialed in. So, so it almost becomes more of an organic kind of flange sound, I guess. So if we bring that back into the mix here now. Yeah, cool stuff, yeah. All right, let's come out of that one. And uh, that is that is going to be the tape cassette two. So that's our plug-in of the week this week. 